Hey there thinkers, welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is S and the video game industry, a shining beacon of innovation and progress. I mean, said no one lately. Every day, it's another mediocre project getting the green light for some announcement that practically screams, lower your expectations. And now, because things weren't bleak enough, CD Projekt Red's senior experience designer seems to think it's cute to mock gamers who dare to wonder if The Witcher 4 will be less about slaying monsters and more about checking DEI boxes. How stellar. However, I have a few things to say here, but before I do, we have a small request. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button, smashing that like, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. We would greatly appreciate this, since this will help us appease those YouTube algorithm gods. So, we thank you. Now, let me give you our thoughts on this, and let's get into it. I adore The Witcher. The books, I've heard they are absolute masterpieces. As for the games, I'm excited. Well, cautiously excited. See, as long as CD Projekt Red can manage to stop treating their games like a social justice thesis and keep the real world from crashing the party, hey, I'm all in. But let's be honest here. Can we trust any game companies these days? Well, look who's out here making PR disasters for fun. Max, a senior experience designer at CD Projekt Red, just couldn't resist mocking gamers concerned about The Witcher 4 leaning into a DEI agenda. Because, you know, belittling your customers is such a winning strategy. Newsflash, Max, we're the ones swiping your credit cards to fund your paycheck. And without us, you'd be unemployed faster than a patch can fix a bug on launch day. Like maybe CD Projekt Red should invest in courses like how not to alienate your fanbase 101 or PR disasters for dummies. Because it feels like every company these days is lining up for a shot at the who can screw up the most championship. Oh, and Raven Rainfall, a former fan of the Witcher series, isn't exactly too thrilled about the Witcher 4. And honestly, can you really blame her? She's right to be skeptical. Like, the CD Projekt Red is all in on the DEI ESG train, and just a few weeks ago, their CEO claimed that they solely hire based on merit. And I mean, like, yeah, sure, that's a funny joke. While their own website brings about their equitable practices and proudly flaunts a scholarship programs that conveniently leave men out. Like it's right there, front and center, easy to find. But hey, the CEO can say whatever he wants because the facts are clear as day and it's really hard to ignore the reality when they're basically advertising their equitable practices that are as exclusive as they come. Now, we already know that CD Projekt Red is all about chasing those sweet ESG dollars and jumping on the DEI bandwagon. Not just in their hiring practices, but in their content that they turn out. And instead of showing any kind of professionalism, Max hits us with a laughing emoji followed by a clown face emoji. Classy, right? Raven then chimes in with, wow, that's very professional of you, dripping with a sarcasm, I might add. She continues by saying, just so you know, I'm not only a customer, but also a fan of the Witcher series. And you, Mr. Senior Experience Designer, are out here being sexist, telling a woman to shut up and calling her a clown. And I mean, this is true. Like these individuals, these radical leftists at companies like Max right here, they are constantly saying, oh, we want to be inclusive. We want everyone's voices to matter. We want to give as many jobs to women or people of color as possible. But if you are a person of color, or a woman that they disagree with, then they'll tell you to shut up. They will call you a clown. They will constantly belittle you and insult you. And we see it happen time and time again. And of course, his knee-jerk reaction was to throw out a bunch of completely unfounded allegations while completely misinterpreting everything. I mean, really? How else is anyone supposed to interpret this? You've got a hand over the mouth followed by a clown emoji. Yeah, that screams innocence, doesn't it? But no, no, here he is trying to backpedal as fast as he can because, shocker, people are actually talking about it and we can't have that, can we? Here we have one of the internet's finest, a self-proclaimed chaotic nerd, calls him out with absolute clarity. 
It's not even allegations anymore. It's literally just the emojis he chose. He saw them, decided to type them out, and then hit send. Like, how do you even defend that? And honestly, that is probably one of the most level-headed responses in this entire situation. But seriously, someone needs to tell him to just log off, step away from the monitor, and like take a breather. It's like he doesn't even realize how quickly he's spiraling into like disrespected territory. Like at this rate, he's just digging himself deeper all for the sake of trying to save face in front of an audience that's already seen the damage done. Like maybe it's time to just like step away from social media because that might do him wonders. Just long enough for him to stop making himself look like an absolute train wreck online. Chaotic Nerd also said, from your perspective and the company's, you should have just kept quiet. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to engage in this conversation further. No matter what I say, it will be misinterpreted to prove whatever point you like to prove, assuming that everyone should immediately know one's gender on the web and make an attack based on that is simply wrong. Oh, and let's not forget his latest comments because they're just the cherry on top of a growing pile of proof that Rainfall's concerns are pretty spot on. Remember when CD Projekt Red's CEO tried to tear Endymion down and ended up proving that he's just a walking, talking liar? Like, classic move. Like, in one of his videos, Endymion claimed that an insider spilled the tea on the utter disaster happening inside CD Projekt Red. Like, particularly with those who are still around from the glory days. Apparently, senior talent is jumping ship faster than you can say Cyberpunk 2077. And then, take the director of Witcher 3. Like, they've been gone long ago, off making their own studio and brand new game. Oh, and let's not forget Warhorse Studios. Like, they've been snatching up CD Projekt Red talent like it's been Black Friday. Oh, you know, that's no big deal. Just a little thing called the heart and soul of the company packing up and leaving. Because, you know, the people who actually made The Witcher 3 the masterpiece that turned CD Projekt Red into an industry titan? Yeah, those people? They're gone. It's fine though, because I'm sure the fresh talent still hanging around will totally be able to fill the giant shoes of the people who actually made the magic happen. I mean, like, who needs experienced senior developers when you can just wing it, right? I'm sure the quality of future games will be totally fine. And let's not forget about CD Projekt Red's internal circus, okay? Because they've been plagued with mismanagement, which has been thoroughly documented. They got a nice little reputation boost with their Cyberpunk 2077 release, thanks to Crunch Culture, where employees worked into the ground just to launch a game so broken it single-handedly ruined the company's reputation. I mean, like, sure, they patched it up a bit, but the damage has been already done. Like, fixing bugs is one thing but repairing the trust they lost with their fans? That's a whole other disaster. I mean, like, of course gamers don't want to be treated like crap. They don't want to be talked down to or dismissed for actually caring about the stuff they're spending their money on. Like, shocking, right? Like, they want to be taken seriously because guess what? They're the ones putting their hard-earned cash into these products. It's totally reasonable for them to have concerns about a beloved franchise going off the rails. And I mean, like, how dare they worry that DEI and ESG priorities might end up overshadowing the whole point of gaming, like making good games. But I mean, like, DEI and ESG worries aside, players have every right to fear that CD Projekt Red might not be able to turn out the high quality games they used to. And of course, this is made even worse when developers like Max decide to mock the fans online. And that's like a real classy move. It just screams, we don't care about you. Like we've seen the same tired song and dance over and over and over again in the gaming industry. Devs or the PR are throwing tantrums and fits only to eat their words and apologize once the backlash gets too loud. At the end of the day, this whole mess is just another symptom of a much larger issue plaguing the gaming industry. It's like everyone's too busy jumping on the latest bandwagon and pandering to the loudest voices instead of focusing on what truly matters. 
making the best possible games. Companies like CD Projekt Red should seriously take a step back and remember who actually put them on the map. Gamers who want compelling stories, solid gameplay, and an immersive experience, not some shallow trend-chasing fluff. But no, no, they'd rather mock those said fans, thinking they can just replace them with new audience that doesn't care about quality. I mean, like, brilliant strategy, people. Because alienating the people who helped make you successful isn't exactly the best way to keep your fan base loyal. But don't worry, I will keep my eyes on this dumpster fire as it burns because, let's be real, The Witcher 4 isn't looking good right now. Like, CD Projekt Red might want to start praying for a miracle at this point. With the brain drain they've had and the questionable choices they're making in terms of direction, it's getting harder and harder to see how they will turn this around. I mean, sure. They've got some name recognition, but a title alone isn't going to save this sinking ship. It's really tough to stay optimistic when they're not even trying to put out their own flames. I mean, here's to hoping they surprise us, but right now, I'm not holding my breath. However, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hey, before you go, subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. As always, this is Est, and I'm signing off now. So I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!